Today we will be talking about the best table for product photography. This particular one, it's one from Replica Surfaces and I had it for over a year now. I'm going to do a review, a little demonstration and also in the description below, I will be having a link with 15% off if you do decide to purchase something like this. Now, let's take this table apart and show you exactly what the components are, what makes this table. As you can see, the table starts with a, pretty much a tripod. It has caster wheels. They roll very, very smoothly. You could lock them in place if you need to with these locks. Then you have a little knob over here and a little pin that you can adjust the height of the tripod. So you can see it can go up to maybe that high. I'm going to put it in the lower position because that's what I use it at. Then you have the table part, and the table is metal with some plastic accessories. And then this is where the table goes into our tripod, and we'll just attach it in and screw it in so it doesn't spin. Now this table is great because it is very heavy duty. It can hold a lot of weight. It's easy to move around. It has this handy handle. And it also has these grooves on the sides, and that will help us place our backgrounds on it or, you know, light modifiers. When you purchase their backgrounds, they come something like this. They have different prints, different colors, they have solids, they have some really realistic ones, and then they have some really cheesy ones. So, you know, a little bit for everybody. The backgrounds, they fit perfectly onto the size of the table. And if you're curious, these backgrounds are not a true two by two. They're actually 23 inches. So that makes a difference and I'll tell you why. You can use the backgrounds just like this on top of the table and this is how I use it 99.9% .9 of the time. But then these grooves that I showed you has all the corners you can place another surface on these grooves. And now you have a backboard, a back background, and we have a little scene set up. So that makes it easy. You can put your product here and photograph, and then you can put even another board in the sides, and then you can have a corner. And it's just, you know, the possibilities are limitless. You can also use a diffusing material, for example, if you have one of these five and one diffusers, you can just easily place it into this handle. And then with one of these A clips, you can clip it to the handle. And now we can have the light on this side and you know we can photograph and whatever scene we need to do. Now, this is why I think it's genius that they came up with a 23 diameter of these backgrounds. And that is because you have to buy their backgrounds if you want to use these grooves to set your back panel. If you just buy from the Amazon or other companies backgrounds that are just two by two, they're just going to be a little bit too big and they're not going to fit in those grooves. Now, of course, if you just want to use it as a tabletop, two by two will work just fine or just be a little bit oversized. Now, the construction is very, very solid. And even though it's a tripod style table and uh, only has one leg for support, I'm not afraid to put stuff on the sides. It won't bend much at all. For example, I can take this, I think it's 10 or 15 pound weight that I used to, you know, put on my C stands legs. And you see, put it on the side, the tripod will not fall over or anything. It's sturdy and it won't tip much on one side, maybe a degree or two. Now, if you do end up purchasing some of these printed backgrounds, like I have this kitchen one over here, or I have this little window view over here. Well, first of all, just know that they're not very realistic, but then there's a few things to watch out for. For example, if I use this kitchen uh, view, you have to make sure that you align your lighting with your background. So what do I mean by this? If you look here onto the doorknobs from this kitchen cabinet, you can see the shadow is on the left. That means the light comes from the right. So if you're using this for your background and you put your light source on the left, 
and you get a shadow to the right, but then your background has the shadow to the left, it will make no sense. So it will make it look even more fake than this. Now I've used these things for, you know, many shoots and do not expect to get really realistic images with these ones. Like I said, they're a little bit more cheesy, but still fun to play with. Same thing in here, you see the light comes from the right in this case, and the shadow goes towards the left. So make sure you, you know, place your light in the correct position to just make it more believable. Another mistake that I see people do all the time with these backgrounds, these printed ones, is that they will put their subject on the table and they will light it from the front uh, with very strong light, and then it casts a shadow onto the background. Well, in reality, the shelf would not be sitting touching my table, so it would not be realistic to get a shadow from a bottle of shampoo that will reflect on this um, shelf. So make sure you have no shadows on your background coming from your product, because, you know, they will just tell that you're using a fake printed background. Now, another selling point for them is that separately, you can purchase a smaller tripod base for this table. And this tripod base, it's kind of like the same build as this one, but does not have the wheels. And it has the same knob here where you deploy the tripod. So let's see, something like that. The same knob over here where you can adjust the height with a pin. So you can raise it or lower it. I'm gonna put it at the lower one. And this is great if you do a lot of flat lays because then you might want your surface to be lower. And to use this is very simple. All you need to do is just make sure you release the knob that holds the tabletop. And then you can just lift it up and place it on the new tripod, something like this. And now you see how low this goes. And for flat lays, I can easily shoot straight down. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've never used a low tripod, and that's because I use systems to light my scene, and it's just not possible to get the lights this low to like, you know, let's say I want to side light an object. For that, I'll have to purchase something like this. This is a very heavy duty light stand. It's made by Newer. It's all metal. It's very, very heavy. And this is what I will have to use for to put my light this low. So what is the negatives about this table? What don't I like about it? Well, there are two things that I don't like about it. And the main thing is the price. This thing is very expensive. I wrote some notes over here. For the table itself, it's $388. That is very expensive for a tiny table on wheels. I think it's probably not worth more than 200 to 250, but it's 388. Is it worth it? No. Will I buy it again? Yes, absolutely. I cannot live without this thing. I use it every single day. Now, it's the mini tripod, if you want to purchase that as well, it's $92. And like I said, I have a link in the description where you can get 15% off, but it's only 15% off of your very first uh, purchase. So, you know, spend it wisely, buy the most expensive things the first time you purchase, so you can use the coupon. Now, the surfaces themselves, they cost about $90. Another thing to keep in mind is that this table, if you're doing food photography, it is way too small for it. You need at least a four foot by four foot for food photography. This is just too tiny for it, but for product photography, it is perfect. I see a lot of people doing food photography on these um, guys, and what they do is they place like 20 items, pinch bowls, plates, napkins, everything, and it's, everything is touching each other. Everything is so jammed and, you know, overwhelming. When you look at the image, you don't even know which one is the subject. You're like, all right, great. What am I looking at? It's just a bunch of things next to each other. So not great for food photography, but perfect for product photography. Now, I hope this was helpful and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing. I'll see you in my next video.